Alex and Christine, now that the Transportation Committee has voted on the speed bump program, it goes to the City Council for a vote. This, as the LAPD says yesterday's crash, deadly crash, may be the result of a tragic accident, perhaps that the driver had a medical emergency. You never know. You never know. You never know because our life is dead. There is grief and frustration. Parents and neighbors want to know why traffic safety measures outside Hancock Park Elementary were clawed back in recent years and say people were worried even before a mother was killed and her six-year-old daughter critically injured on Tuesday. I used to be a cross car, no more cross car. You need guards here. It's very simple. It's a frustration shared by LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Carvalho, who vented at a special session of the city's transportation committee, upset that this morning yet another student was injured. Sometime early this morning, a student who attends Barrendo Middle School was struck by another vehicle. Adding to his frustration, he says the city, which has jurisdiction over the streets, has only funded 500 crossing guards for more than a thousand schools, and of those, there are currently 200 vacant. In positions. He also says back in 2021, the city pulled a crossing guard from the very crosswalk where Tuesday's deadly accident took place. A month and a half ago, I sent a letter to the city requesting the expedited staffing of the crossing guard program. And just last week, just last week, Friday, I testified before City Hall again requesting the expedited hiring of uh, crossing guards. Our streets aren't safe and the routes to and from schools aren't safe. City Council member Katie Yaroslavsky agrees there needs to be change and is also calling for speed bumps near elementary schools. Police now say the crash outside Hancock Park Elementary was possibly the result of a medical emergency. And although city actions may not have prevented that tragedy, Carvalho says more measures are needed to spare others from heartbreak. There are no flashing lights around schools. There are insufficient uh, crossing guards. There are no speed humps. In addition to the speed bump program, the committee also voted to advance the crossing guard program. That too goes to the city council for a vote. Live outside City Hall, Chrissy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.